yo, yo, what up, YouTuber Street here? Another video coming your way. Alright, man, look at all this shit. It's the same music over and over and over and over and over. I'm tired of this shit. Fucking, yo, it's brick out here, man. Alright, so. Working with what you have, man. Um, I just, uh, I just gotta say that. You know, sometimes you can plan and hope things work out. You know, hopefully things fall into place the way they should and this and that. But sometimes it just doesn't pan out, man. Sometimes shit happens. Sometimes nothing happens. Um, in my case, I sent my plow truck out to get fixed. I'm talking about complete, 100% fixed. I, I told the mechanic, hey, listen, man. Fix the plow, do whatever it takes to, to do whatever it takes. Um, and then, you know, also give the truck a full tune up, whatever it takes. 100% go in, all the way in, you know, just get it done. So I sat at the mechanics for about six days, you know, and nothing happened, absolutely nothing. Turn left on you know, and when I went to pick it up, he was like, oh, Pete, listen, um, we couldn't fix the plow. I was like, all right, what about the tune-up and all that stuff? Did you guys do all that stuff? Oh, nah, man, so we completely forgot. You know, this is the shit that pisses me off. All right, so you got, you got my approval to do everything, 100%. But just because you couldn't fix one thing, you decided not to do the rest of the stuff. Which I think is kind of fucking fucked up. You know, if you're, you know, and, and then you have, you know, it's like, oh yeah, we needed some money too up front. Like, you're a mechanic. You shouldn't need my money up front. You bill me at the end when the job is done. Unless, you know, that I have a pre. Pre, uh, you know, pre uh, an arrangement where I bring you the parts, you do the labor. But that this wasn't one of those deals, you know. And this is not the, the relationship I've had with this mechanic, you know. So I'm like, damn, what the fuck happened, you know? So, damn, this is old ice sliding and shit. So I'm like, I, I, you know, I'm like, damn, man, what the fuck? Why, why, why you ain't do my shit? But anyway. It is what it is. So what I did was I ordered, um, I took my uh, my plow truck to Newburgh Power Equipment. They looked at it real quick and told me exactly what's wrong with it. Hey, you need a new motor and you may need a new uh, a, a, a pump. So I was like, all right, no problem. Can you guys fix it? Well, we don't we don't do that stuff. Uh, we we don't have those parts here, and we 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 wouldn't know what to find, uh, to get the parts. Which I, I think they're full of shit at this point, but. What I did was, I um, I, I went online. I found a new uh, electric motor for for my plow, and then I called the the manufacturer of my plow and told them my problem. And they was like, "Well, we we we're not a distributor. You have to contact a dealer, and then they can probably help you." So they gave me the information, and I called. They said, nope, we don't we don't ship and we actually don't service your plow that brand anymore. So we you know we don't know how to help you. So I called back the manufacturer and I told them I explained to them the situation. They said, well listen, this is the one thing we can do for you. We can't, you know, we're we're just um, a manufacturer. You know, I was hoping to get the parts from them, but they said, listen, there's a distributor that you can call in Massachusetts, and I'm pretty sure he'll be able to help you. I called. I explained the, the situation to the guy. He was like, "Look, I'll make a deal. For, uh, I'll make a deal with you. Seven hundred and eighty bucks. I'll send you a whole assembly, everything you need, minus the plow and mount. But everything else, I'll send you. I'll send you all the wiring. I'll send you the relay switches. I'll send you everything for seven hundred and eighty bucks." And I was like, "All right, no problem." But I just ordered the motor, so that's gonna be a backup. And then I'm getting a brand new, complete assembly for my plow. So I should be set. But damn, man. People are real fucking irresponsible. 
and then they 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 they, they assume that you know you're gonna come back to them to see if you can to do business. And I I, I refuse, man. You, you you fuck up on me one time, that's it. I'm done. I'm not giving people no more chances. But anyway, so this situation right now, man. I'm working with what I got. I'll make a quick video. Um, in about ten minutes, I have to go into the Dollar, Dollar General store to get a couple of things, you know, air fresheners and all that dumb shit. So I'm gonna go in there get that, and then I'm just gonna, you know, pull over and, you know, when I'm I'm done with the property, and I'll and I'll make a video of what I have to show you. Work with what you got until you can fix what you have, in order to move up and keep going. You just don't stop working because things are not going your way. You do the best that you can and you work with what you got. You don't get discouraged. Even though I, I'm dealing with all this shit in, beforehand, but at the end of the day, I still have a business to run and that's the bottom line. So stay tuned. I'll show you what I have inside the van. I think you guys seen it before, but just to, you know, give you an idea of what I'm working with, you'll see. Please hold. Peace. All right, I'm back. I'm back at my house, actually. All right, so this is what I'm rolling with inside the van. I went and bought these. Used the little one a couple of times. Uh, that's because of everything I'm going to, all the properties I'm going to, it's fucking iced. So I got the medium-sized snowblower Toro, and then I got the big one right there. You know, um, I bought this. This is normally $100 at Home Depot. I got it on clearance for $25. I think it was a good buy, but that thing will spit out a bag of ice faster than quick. Like, I put a bag in there, and it did this whole driveway. And that's not much. And I was like, shit, yeah, the wind is whipping real good. I was like, damn, that's killing me. And I saw my junk on the side. All right, so this I bought at Home Depot. I think it was $19 a can, so I grabbed three of them. I always need gas cans for some reason. You know, people borrow my shit and never bring it back. Lesson to learn. Don't lend your shit out to anybody. Because when they break it, destroy it, the, <laughs> they'll, they'll either never return your shit or they won't tell you they broke anything. All right, I'm losing. I'm out of focus again. Now I'm back. All right, so that's what I'm rolling with. So, you know, work with what you have because, you know, sometimes, you know, you can have trouble and problems like I have like I've been having you know so you make the best of it and you keep on moving uh, more bags of salt there anymore so again you know snow shovels flathead shovels whatever you call those and then you got this I'm gonna buy another one of these tomorrow but I'm gonna try to see if I can get a wider tip you know at least a foot I think that's a four inch or a six inch tip but anyway Work with what you have and make the best of it, man. Because nothing is easy, man. I have it all. I have everything you can ask for. And I worked hard for it. You know, look at my other van over there. Snow. There goes my plow truck. Over there. You know. And then this is mi casa. Anyway, I'm going back inside the van real quick. Grab my notes. Then I'm going inside. Because I am fucking freezing. <laughs> Fuck this shit. It's too damn cold. Yeah, man. So, when you're doing snow removals, try to bring some of this with you. It helps out. I have some of these inside my, uh, my trailer. And I didn't think I just left this morning and I should have grabbed it but I bought it now it's there and that's it <coughs> it's an it's an investment and this I'm gonna throw in there later on but I'm cold anyway thanks for listening thanks for watching if you guys got any, any questions any comments please leave them as always thank you smash that like button subscribe whatever the fuck it is that you do peace